Uh-huh. Yes. Well, of course, we, we, uh, we authorized it, yes. Mm. No, no, thank you, Johnny. I, what? what? What impression? Who said that? All right, it was me. Oh, it was a joke. Get over yourself. Well, I'm very good at impressions. Do you, yeah, you want to hear one? It's got to be someone from Boston. I'll call you back, Mr. President. <clears throat> well, first off, I uh, would like to say I'm sorry about Owen. I know you two were close. Second of all, Ow. that's for embarrassing me at the gala. Third of all, what do you want? I'm here to give my two weeks notice. Oh, you can't do that. Why not? Uh, because you cannot quit a job you don't work at. Remember what? at the gala in Geneva when you went rogue oh. and fucked everything up? By the way, does your clearance badge still work? Susan. <sighs> <laughs> Although, you know, I must say, thanks to your little clusterfuck, our diplomatic relationship with Russia is the best it's been in years. Hmm, and you can wipe that smug fucking smile off your face. One victory in battle does not win you the war. Always end on a high note, they say. You know, you are too optimistic for this line of work, Mega. Me? I don't kid myself. This business is changing faster than you can say Larry Olivier looks like a lesbian laundry lady. Nerds in lab coats, soon they'll be running the show. Crunching numbers, giving orders, makes me sick. But no choice but to take these changes in stride. That's how I've survived for so long. A little bit of poison every day, huh? I would wink and give you a thumbs up if I wasn't too old for that childish bullshit. All right, good luck, Mega. Oh, I left you a little present in your breast pocket. It's a grenade, it's live, I have the pin. Ah! <laughs> so, they kicked you to the curb too, eh, Barb? I guess that was my fault, huh? Well, listen, I don't regret a thing, and neither should you. Oh, no. Job. They just merged my tech division with the agency's general data analysis division. Oh, well, that sounds uh, boring. I know. Actually, I was gonna say interesting for you because you're into that shit, right? I have no idea. I was just trying to make you feel better. Oh gosh darn it! I'm gonna miss you, Kurt. Come here. You're gonna miss me too. But listen, I got work for you. On the inside, when I'm gone, we have a job to do. And I'm gonna keep you real busy. Oh, Kurt, you naughty boy. You're gonna make a bad girl out of me. Barb, are you having a stroke? <laughs> oh, you weren't. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'd be honored. Anything for you. Knock him dead, Mega. Is this about taken? Yep. Oh, hey. Hi. Yeah, it's taken. No, seriously, it's taken. You know, you know what? We'll just walk. This guy, every day, acts like he owns the bench. Doesn't even work here. Oh, me too. <laughs> nah. Here, I got you some coffee. Mm, thank you. Whiskey? It's nine o'clock in the morning. That would be mine. Mm. I'm glad to see you're back to your old self. It's no easy task burying your ex-lover returned from the grave to kill you. Mm. You know, I'm not sure who, but a good friend of mine once said, a spy is a spy. Now, I think what that means is there's certain risks that come with the job. It's just what you sign up for. Kurt. Mm hmm I told you that. <laughs> you did. Hmm. Hey. You knocked it out of the park with that whole island compound thing. We make a hell of a team. 
Yeah, we do, but I hear you're not playing for any team anymore. I think it's best if I stay off the grid, safer for everyone. You're a good man, Kurt Mega. Your heart is in the right place. Just remember to listen to it from time to time. Oh, I almost forgot. Passports for you and your family. Just before you go through any immigration checkpoints, make sure there's not a save the date stuffed inside. Oh, Kurt. Don't thank me, thank my mom. But it's because of you that I had the opportunity to destroy that compound and erase my past. Now that there are no more little birdies to worry about, we are free. My family and I can start to the clean slate. Tatiana, there's... Give me a ring if you ever stateside. Will do. Oh, uh, one more thing. Shoot. Was my beard really that ugly? I worked really hard in maintaining it. Personally, I think it made me look really cool. I think... I think you don't need to hide behind a beard to make you look cool. Thank you so much. But you didn't answer the question. No shidrujbe. To moving forward. Mega here. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, Curtis. Oh, oof. I know it's been a rough day for you, but I got a bit of bad news. Uh, I was able to patch up three of the bullet holes in your shirt, but there was just one blood stain that will not come out. <laughs> Might be time to retire this one, bub. That's OK, Mom. You know what? I think I want to start fresh. In fact, will you make a to-do list and put it on the fridge for me? Oh, oh, thank God. You are your mother's son. I would be honored. One, a trip to Barney Goodman for a new suit. Two, stock the bar. And three, take down Chimera. Curtis, we talked about this. You're quitting that pesky job and settling down with that nice Russian girl. <sighs> Mom, a spy's work is never done. All right. Sure. It'll be harder now that I'm going out on my own. You know, I don't know much, but I do know this. The instincts of man are unlike that of any machine. Sure, he can freeze up, lose focus, and get shot. He can have a drink every once in a while if it's a responsible pour and it helped take the edge off. And if he learns to trust those around him, perhaps he can learn to trust himself again. You can break a computer box, but you can't break the will of a man. And that's why they'll never stop us. Even when we're buried six feet under the ground. Because spies, spies are forever. I once was a spy. I'll always be a spy. Cause a spy is a spy forever.